morning welcome to the fifth two of my christmas journals this is the um christmas stash collection most it's called that because i wanted to try and use as much as possible from my stash to make all of this lovely goodness um i didn't want to um buy things new i wanted to try and use as much of my stash as i could therefore the name of it the christmas stash collection and as you can see there are three blue journals and two red journals um actually there's another red journal but that one's mine i need to have one as well um and they are all very similar in size and construction and types of materials where they differ is in the specific images that i've used because i've had not been able to use exactly the same papers within them so let's get to it um they differ primarily at the moment put the uh, thing i done there um in the picture that goes on the front but they're, they're all come in this wallet um with fabric on the front and ribbons and so on there's a little dangle there with a reindeer i hope you can see that um and this bit of lace there and some lace across the front here um, and you can see the back there. And then this one is um, poinsettia. And you can see that the bead there is blue. And this one, starting on the blue one, the bead is blue there instead. It's green on that one, blue on this one. And this one is deer. Um, and these two are acorn and pine tree. I hope you can see the details there. So uh, let's get to the flip through. Put those two on side. Now the wallets themselves are made out of napkin. And before you all go, Liz, what are you doing? You made it out of a napkin or a sneeze. As soon as, soon as you sneeze, it will disintegrate. Trust me, this is not normal napkin. It's um, exactly one of those ones that won't pull apart when you want to actually use it for decoupage. I bought them by mistake. And they've been sitting in my stash for absolutely ages and then I thought of a way of using them for wallets like this. Now, yes, you are completely right. They would disintegrate as soon as you snoozed at them. But these have been um, solidified by being laminated uh, with um, matte laminating um, paper, plastic, whatever you call it, on the front. So it's got, it's got, it's got a kind of slipperiness to the front. Um, and it's only being laminated on one side, so it's still got some flexibility to it. And as you can see, in the middle here, inside here, you've got your journal. We'll come to that one in a moment. And then in the pocket, they've all got fabric uh, washi. So there's all kinds of really nice sort of fabric bits here, um, which I have um, taken and put them sticky, um, sticky back tape on the back. And they've all got that inside. Regardless, they're all exactly the same um, um, patterns of, um, of fabric. Essentially, one each of the Christmas fabric that I had in my collection. And then they've all got a pocket like this, made out of um, glossine paper, which has got some um, Christmas stamps in, so you can pepper those throughout your journal. And then we'll come to the journal itself and this is based upon the journals that i make for myself normally um and this is this is it as you can see it's exactly the same size and the reason it's got the ribbon as a closure like this is because it actually helps i mean this is a completed journal it's full um and as you can see it's um it held together. It stop it stop it alligator so, uh, alligator and so much um with the with the ribbon so that when you undo the ribbon, and it undoes quite easily, um, you can see that it doesn't immediately burst open. Uh, I mean, I'm holding it sideways there, so it's going to fall open, but it's not, you know, straining or anything like that. It's being kept together, um, and it's, it's it moves around quite easily. So that's why the ribbon is there. If you buy one of these journals, what I would suggest that you do is that when you've been working in it, you rebind it with the ribbon every night after you've been working in it because this will help to squish your journal down, if you like, and um, and stop it from um, getting too, too thick, too wide. 
So let's undo the ribbon. And there is a long length of ribbon on this one. There you go. They've all got the um, the binding thread at the back. I have threaded um, beads and uh, more reindeer, um, the charms onto the bottom of them, um, just to make them uh, pretty. Um, and the front is um, the cover is made of um, this fabric here, and there is some um, the bits all over it. It's a collage with a little bit of um, text there. And this is from um, a napkin, Christmas napkin. And then there's more collage on the back there. So uh, you can see. And they're all very similar in, in, in the way that they've been built here. And on the inside, oh, size-wise, it's slightly large. It is um, a 13 centimetre, that's just over 5 inches, by... 21 centimetres, that's just uh, eight and a quarter, it's over, um, in, in uh, length. And uh, the pages generally are um, 12, 12 centimetres wide. So this gives you a little bit of the cover, as you will see, is that the cover comes out a little bit over the uh, pages to help protect them a little bit. Um, and I find that this is a size that works really well for me when I'm journaling. Um, I, mean, I could make them into a traditional um, traveller's notebook um, width, but um, I find that this one is slightly better. On this though, the inside covers all have pockets in, in the way that they work. I'll get that on the screen. Um, you can see that there is something inside a pocket right there. And uh, in every single one, they have an envelope which has a, a kind of fabric stamp on it. And it opens out like this and inside there is a flip with a little pocket so there is a tag there a large tag and then there is a tag there um a journaling card there so you can use this however you wish okay so i put that back in the pocket and there are two of these in every journal we we'll close that that way. So the first page is um, from a children's Christmas book. And then there is this page, which is, um, you can see my hand. Um, this is made from map, um, napkin paper, which has been, um, again, it's been laminated, so it's a little bit less fragile. You don't have to worry about putting your finger through this. Um, there's, a, there's a bit of a window card there. Um, in paper lots of spaces for writing on you can feel free to cover this up but i really like that image and we use a flip out here with a little tag there the pocket the side and this, these pages have come from um a christmas um edith holden christmas book this is a removable tag you can see you can reposition this wherever you like it um has um, a fold up the middle so you just slide it over the paper. Inside there is a paper clip. So you can move that wherever you like. My paper, there is um, a small bead on a paper clip there. With a small tag on it. And then there is another one of my envelopes. Here. Again, you can see it flips open and the, the pocket there. Okay. And this is a removable belly band. Same, exactly the same idea as the removable tag. It flips over the page here and this is made of ribbon. So you can put whatever you want and you can move this if you would like to. And there is another pocket here with another image which I really like. There is um, another tag there. And there is here some uh, a bit of writing paper, decorated writing paper. 
So you can um, you can write something, you can write a letter to somebody or you know, whatever, whatever you want to do. Write a letter to yourself if you prefer. Um, more paper there to write on. And there. And then there is um, a small pocket there. There is a uh, little um, Polaroid picture there. And then here there is another tag. And then on the other side you will find exactly the same thing. There's another pocket there. Another Polaroid. And a journaling card there. And then here you've got um, this beautiful paper here. And this came from... I'm trying to think of the name of it. Um, and of course it's buried, but here it is. It's the uh, Winter Woodland Premium Collection, and that's where that came from. That's beautiful, beautiful image, and uh, it's ever so slightly uh, glossy with this lovely poinsettias in the middle. So that's that bit of that. Um, more paper. Another flip out there with some more um, little um, tags and a journal, journaling card there. Again, the space to write on the back of this thing. And you can stick papers on there if you want to. Um, another one of my removable journaling tags. A page from uh, Christmas Carol here. And then there's another paper clip with a bead on. Um, the red ones have red beads, the blue ones have blue beads. Stick into a theme here. Um, and there's another tag there. Another page from that um, Christmas book with an thing attached and there's another tag there another page and then this is the other side of that um, Christmas window this one and there is a pull out thing, um, tag there and you've got space to write on it so you can put that back inside a little bit tricky but it will go and then on the back you have the um, that decoration. And then there's the back page of that children's book. And then when you flip out this cover here, you will see that there are things. There's more of that writing paper here. But also inside there is um, there is another journaling card. And there's also a pocket made out of that laminated um, napkin. Um, it feels very much like um, glassine or something like that. But it's just in the back. So uh, you can flip it down somewhere and then put things inside it if you want. And there is more sort of journaling space there. So that's it. That's the uh, that's a journal. Most of these are very very similar in construction, as you will see when I pull them out. Um, but when you rebind the journal, what I tend to do is I look for the wrinkle here because that's where it's been um, tied up, and then you need to watch for the uh, dangles, but. Essentially, just wind it around like this. It's very straightforward. And just do it either side of the dangles. Let the dangles go free. But you know, if you want the uh, dangles, if you find them annoying, you want them to be tied up, then just tie them up inside the uh, inside the ribbon. And then I just tie it. And that's it, done. And then we can put it back into the journal pocket, wallet pocket rather, and tie it up. So that keeps everything together that you will need for journaling this Christmas. Okay, so let me flip through the others very, very quickly so that you will see that they are very, very similar. This one is dear. I'm not sure yet whether they will be listed separately. The blues and the reds will be listed separately, but I'm not sure whether I will list the individual journals differently. Because as you will see, they are very, very similar. 
So the, the cover is like is virtually identical. It differs with the text that's here, but this part is all the same. Um, this will differ, and the music there, but otherwise very very similar. Um, the page here is different. Um, the envelope inside that will will be different, and the the paper inside here, the tags and the uh, journal and card and the uh, very last tag there will be slightly different so they will all differ in that respect um, but this is the same in all of them they're very similar different page here different journal and tag there um, these will be very similar in all of them different page here the exact location of things like this, which is so we want there is two of these in every journal, but the exact location of them may be slightly different. Um, there is a, a removable belly band in all of them, and again, this envelope would be slightly different in all of them, with along with the contents. Um, again, there was one of these in all of them, but it may be in a slightly different place. This is um, this page is from a Christmas Carol. Again, all of them have a page from the Christmas Carol book, but the pages themselves will be different. Um, they all have this um, flip out with the little sort of Christmas Polaroids inside, mini Polaroids, and they will have all have tags inside them, but the tags themselves may be different. They all have one of these, for example. Um, And there's another um, Polaroid there, and there's a tag there, Christmas um, journaling card there. They all have this middle to them. Um, and then there's another B there. They've all got the same number of bees and um, attached to our paper clips. Um, the beads themselves will differ by colour, so the red ones will be slightly different, but the blue ones are all the same. Um, Another removable tag there. There's another page with. They've all got this um, this design of um, tag inside it with a stamp on that on. on. And you can see there's another journaling card there. This is. They've all got this in them, which is exactly the same. I think there's one that's slightly different. Um, and then again, they've got the paper in, um, more tag, um, journaling card, and um, the gasoline pocket that's inside. I think the red gasoline pocket is slightly different, but we'll see that in a minute. So that's the second blue one. Um, and the third blue one, this one is acorn. You see, it doesn't take very long to undo the ribbons. It's fiddly more than anything. Um, again, you can see the front is very, very similar. Let me get the number two out so you can see just how similar they are. It's really the text here that is different and there, obviously. Um, let's look at the back. Very, very similar. Text here is different, but otherwise it's virtually identical. So that's that. Um, again, inside pocket with um, an envelope. Put that up. The paper here from the um, from the children's um, Christmas book is slightly different. That's exactly the same. Um, card with a little bit of uh, foiling right there in my handwriting there's another tag there again they're all in different places this thing there's a um, removable um, tab there um, Christmas um, carol paper is the uh, beautiful blue bead there on, on paper clip 
removable um, belly band with the uh, envelope. Remove that um, Christmas paper with um, this again. This is from Christmas Carol. This um, beautiful writing. It actually comes from the original. That is, is from um, I think 1905 or something like that. It was written. It's kept in uh, a library in Manchester in the United Kingdom, but it was reprinted back in the 80s, and that's the version I've used. Um, and again, there's that writing paper. But it's full of these beautiful writing and um, and these images here, and I love it. I've got several copies of that book. Another one of those flip outs with the um, um, Polaroid and a tag there. There's another page from A Christmas Carol there. And the inside is that beautiful paper from the Winter Collection. More book page, another flip out tag another removable um tab there bead with um another tag i tried to choose the pages from a christmas carol some of them could be quite depressing i've tried to choose the cheerier ones um and another journaling card there it's a beautiful picture there part of it and then again there's that insert there and there is the writing paper there with another some more um, tags and journaling card and the pocket there so uh, you can see it's, this is stuffed with stuff plenty of places for you to write write with and i'll do these up later if you have to watch me do them all up we'll be here forever right and then go on to the red ones And you can see that the red one, well, you can to get the ribbon off. So I do that. And you can see the red ones are very, very similar in um, in concept to the blue one, but the colour is completely different. Um, and the backs are slightly different as well. But again, the uh, concept is very, very, very similar. Um, the beads are gold and red, like I said they would be, and uh, red, gold and green with the same reindeer at the bottom. Um, the um, fabric in here and the um, inside, the little sort of pocket with the Christmas, um, Christmas stamps is in there as well, so that's absolutely fine, that's all the same. Um, the picture here is slightly different and there uh, but again inside there is the move it over so you can see there is the uh, envelope um on the inside that's all exactly the same no change there again there is um a book from that um a page from that children's book but i tried to pick up pictures that are red rather than the blue that featured in the other journals and that is exactly the same and again, these images tended to be more red than blues. And the wrapping here is red rather than blue. There was a removable tab here, a slightly different colour. Another one of these tags. A good page from Christmas Carol there, as you can see. There was a movable belly band there, it's slightly different um, decoration. And again, it's the same envelope with um, tags and journaling cards inside. So that's all very similar. Another page from Christmas Carol with a nice sort of tag there. And it's a page from a Christmas Carol with the same insert on in the middle. Another flip out, again the colours are, are different, they're reds, with a pol red Polaroid and uh, there's a tag there. And then here there is another journaling card there and there's another little Polaroid there. This here at the top is pattern. And as you can see it's got kind of slightly gold, it's a 1970s wrapping paper which I got from Germany. Again this is one of a few new things that I got this journals 
but uh, I didn't already have in my stash. So there's the paper clip with um, a gold and red bead on. Um, another flip out there with another tag there. Some more uh, sort of gold um, foil right in there. The beautiful Santa there. I love him. I think he's beautiful. Um, another removable tag here. With some carol. Um, and there's a page there with journal link card there. Let me move over so you can see. Journal link card there. And then again, there's that pull out there that you've already seen. And here there is the writing paper. And there is um, a big tag. And that um, piece of the paper is different. Um, but it's the napkin paper which has been laminated, so it's got um, some structure to it, and it's just a pocket. Um, so you can stick that somewhere within your journal. Uh, I missed them. This um, tag is slightly different as well. It's the only one of these I've made which has a, a flip out like that. But again, it's a lovely, cheery Santa there. I think he's lovely. Let's put that back. Oh, got to put that in. Okay, so that's the uh, that red one. Um, again, I'll put this back after we're done filming. And the last one The wallets, by the way, are, I think if my mirror serves me correctly they are 33 this way and 14 this way and about two and a half thick. So, you know, they're not going to take up a massive amount of space. Um, the covers are virtually identical to the other one, as you can see. It's slightly different in the text there and in the music paper. Um, flip it over. It's different in the text here, but otherwise very, very similar. Right. So, I've got a pocket here with the envelope, which we've already uh, talked about. Um, Christmas page, another one of those uh, window thing. The flip out with a um, journaling card there. Removable tag, tab rather, um, bead on a paper clip with um, a tag, belly band with an envelope, as you can see it's got the same things inside, um, Christmas paper, writing paper, and there's beautiful design there, a flip out. And there's that then points out in the middle. The card there, the usual Polaroid um, with a tag there. This um, material here is another one of the new things that I bought purely for this collection, um, but nothing else. This material here I've only got a little bit of, and it actually came from my tape and twine in America. She sent me them a, a goodie parcel last Christmas, bless her. Um, another Polaroid there. I'm very, very grateful to her for that. Um, there's another flip out there with a tag. Another removable tab there. Paper clip there with a golden red bead. More Christmas paper here. With another little tag there. And then there's another pull out thing there and then in there there is more um, writing paper and there's more another tag um, journaling card rather and there's a pocket here so that's it so that's it that's my um, Christmas stash collection for 2020 it's been one hell of a year in more ways than one uh, will be listed tonight I'm hoping to get them out 
um, and then they will go out in the post, I think, um, at the earliest Wednesday, if you were to buy them straight away, which I kind of hope you do. Um, so as you can see, there's an awful lot of work here. I mean, I started work on these in um, on August, and I've been kind of working on them while I've been doing my uh, finishing off my PhD thesis. So there's a lot of love and a lot of work that's gone into these. Um, so I hope that you all enjoy them, whoever gets them. And um, and I wish you all a very very merry Christmas. And I hope that 2021 is a much much better year for everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.